Oh, yes. Actually, I'm going to move him back just a little bit. It's perfect. Okay, buddy. All I need you to do is walk off the edge here, please, okay? You'll be completely fine. Don't you worry about it. Yep, that's it. There we go. Oh, welcome back to Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. You see this Mosasaurus right here? We need to remove him because we don't want him to be this large. We actually want to make him tiny. Because this first suggestion says day one of asking Fudgy to make a tiny, overpowered Mosasaurus also, kind of like a goldfish. The name is up to you. Well, actually, the name is up to you guys. So leave your best name suggestions in the comment section down below. But the issue is, you see, when you go to point two, he freaks out like that. Let's go point three. Yep, he shakes again. Point four. And there we go. He doesn't shake anymore. So this is the one we're going to use. But we also want to change some of his stats as well. And you know what? The comment said overpowered. So let's go with, I don't know, 6,000 and 8,000. Yep, that should probably do the trick. Give him the classic red glowing eyes. And I might also give him some extra armor. And the comment also did mention goldfish. So why don't we add some gold armor to this guy? So I'm also giving this guy some golden blades, but uh, we need to increase the attack multiplier to 1000. Oh boy. This guy is going to be insane. But yeah, just while I'm building this, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, because I will be posting more Animal Revolt Battle Simulator content very soon. Now let's add some armor and also some spikes on the back here on his tail. And I think we are just about done with our goldfish. If you could even call it a goldfish. So now let me show you how confident I am in my custom Mosasaurus here. Um, well, I'm going to make him fight Godzilla. Here he is. Let's see. Can the Mosasaurus take down Godzilla? Let's find out, shall we? Oh, okay. Where are we? Oh, there he is. Yes. Take him down. Come on. <laughs> yes. Oh, this is epic. Godzilla doesn't stand a chance against my custom unit. Right. Should be dead any second now. Wait for it. And come on. Kill him. There we go. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I would say he's pretty overpowered since he can take down Godzilla. So, next to fight the tiny Mosasaurus, we have a bunch of great white sharks, but they have been upgraded as well. So, oh wait, hang on a minute. He's killing them very easily. I did change their stats, but I guess I didn't add <laughs> too many zeros. We need more zeros, more noughts. And just like that, they're pretty much all dead. Okay, yeah, we, we probably should have upped their stats just a little bit more. And just like that, he has won the fight. This guy is seriously overpowered. But now it's time for my creation to die because he is going up against the army killer, the original. That's all we need, I think. Okay. Wait for it. Is he going to die? He's still alive somehow. I would have thought the army killer would have, you know, killed him straight away, but I guess not. All right, come on. And there we go. The army killer has done it. Taken down the Mosasaurus. Moving on to the next suggestion. It says here, day one of asking Fudgy to put wings on any random unit to beat a dinosaur. So I've chosen the T-Rex here. And the reason I actually went for this suggestion here is because it gave me an idea. Something that I haven't tried before. So if we head over to the aquatics area here, then I'm going to get, let's go for a great white shark. Set it to team one. So these guys can technically fly on land. It's really strange, but I want to know what happens if I put wings on the shark. Again, never tried this before. And um, I wonder if it can actually take down a T-Rex. I'm not too sure. Mm. Oh, boy. This is going to be really, really weird. All right, there we go. Wings on a great white shark. Now fly. Yeah, it doesn't really do anything because he can technically already fly. Oh, but we'll see if he can take down the T-Rex anyway. Oh, he's twisted his neck. Almost broke it there. That would have been good. Right, come on, great white shark. You got this. That's it. Yeah, stay behind his teeth. That's a great idea. Flank him. Oh, he's, he's dead. Great. Maybe we just need larger wings. Yeah, that's the issue. There we go. Now fly. <laughs> yes. Now we get way more height. Oh, he's upside down. Oh, no. He's probably still going to lose. Yes. Oh, he's biting the tail. Okay, this is good. That looks so weird. Look at that. And now the T-Rex can't do anything. It can't bite me. Oh, wait. Never mind. Spoke too soon. It's got my fin. No. <laughs> no. I've never seen a shark with wings either. It looks so weird. Oh, we lost again. Well, things are about to get even more weird because, um, well, we got some orcas here with wings. So, uh, yeah, let's see if they can take down the T-Rex. Right, here we go. Attack! Yes! Take down that T-Rex. There's three of you and only one of him. You know, I reckon the orcas have got this. Oh, look at that tail whip. I bet that did a lot of damage. Yeah, these guys have got this easily. I mean, I, I don't think this is what the person expected when they wrote the suggestion. But, you know, I quite like this anyway. Oh, there we go. We did it. And only one orca died. Rest in peace, buddy. 
Now, we're not quite done yet because I have created a custom rhino unit. Look at this guy right here. Looking pretty good. So I've gone for like a blue theme, as you can see. We've got lightning guns on the side and also on his face there. And yeah, hopefully this guy will just fly up, take a couple of shots of the dinosaur and take him down. Let's find out. There we go. Whoa, that looks so weird. Oh, and just like that, the dinosaur is dead. The rhino is victorious. <laughs> Look at him go. It looks so weird. <laughs> His head's just bouncing up and down. Look at that. Moving on. Day three of asking Fiji to make an upgraded piranha with plasma beams. So yeah, this should be pretty interesting. I've already upgraded the stats, as you can see. So we've got eight and 10 there. I think that should be enough. But something that I've never tried is actually scaling up the piranha. Okay, well, that is that is terrifying. I need to quickly do a test just to make sure the piranha can still swim and do what it normally can. Okay, it's a bit slow, but, you know, it works. Okay, yeah, I, th I think we should be okay with this. And now that means we have a lot more space to actually add the plasma beams. The world's largest piranha right here. Look at that. Bigger than a great white shark, pretty much. So I've given the piranha a big piece of armor here, and then I'm just going to add the plasma cannon on top of it. And let's go for a blue plasma cannon. Well, that looks pre pretty insane, actually. <laughs> so yeah, let's add one of both sides. And uh, yeah, I think our piranha is now ready for action. So some of you might remember my custom Megalodon shark. This is the unit that we're going to fight. And I honestly have no idea who's going to win this one. Come on, plasma cannons, their turn and fire yes oh that is so good all right i think the megalodon shark is probably gonna die actually after seeing that uh oh no we've been grappled we have been grappled uh oh get out of there piranha we've done it yes we took down the megalodon shark nice look at him go he's celebrating even that he just can't hold the weight of the cannons on his sides wow he lost no health as well amazing what about moto moto <laughs> Let's find out. Oh, yes. He's going to get pushed off the map. Easy win for the piranha. Very easy. And now I've gone ahead and spawned in a bunch more of the custom piranhas here because I want them to fight Godzilla. Okay, with all of them in together, they actually might stand a chance of taking him down or not. <laughs> oh, I was so wrong. Godzilla has, of course, defeated them all. Uh, Yeah, I just realized I didn't really up the stats too much there, did I? Uh, uh, oops. And now I'm just going to go ahead and make something myself. So I've seen online a lot of like videos and workshop creations where there's like a platform and then like a giant mouth. So I essentially want to build a trap. So I'll have a unit on top of the platform and they just walk straight into the giant mouth. Likely going to be a Purosaurus because, well, I like how the Purosaurus kind of opens its mouth. It's got a very large jaw and it should work pretty good. But do we want to use camo or should we go for this? Yeah, I think that works pretty good. Then I'm going to add like a slope right here. So it's almost like a diving board, but instead of diving into a pool, you're diving into a death trap. So now I'm going to head over to robotic base, go to the A box, add the static one. I'm going to increase the HP multiplier. I'm going to put that to 10. Attack multiplier, maybe just up that by, I don't know, 2. Nothing crazy. And then detection distance, 10. Okay, place that right there. And then all we need to do now is add the Purosaurus head. Oh, yes. Look at this. Scale it all the way up. Maybe actually put the attack multiplier to 2 on this one as well. And then place... Oh, yes. Actually, I'm going to move him back just a little bit. It's perfect. Okay, buddy. All I need you to do is walk off the edge here, please, okay? You'll be completely fine. Don't you worry about it. Yep, that's it. There we go. Oh, <laughs> well, test number one didn't exactly go as planned, but, uh, you know, that's why we do these tests. All right, let's try this again. Here we go. Come on. Eat him. Yes. Oh, oh he's been swallowed whole. And just like that, he's dead. He also got spat out as well. Oh, man, this thing is actually insane. I wonder what it's like with a lot of them. How many can he fit in his mouth? Oh, he's missed all of them. No, <laughs> you idiot. Ah, oh, well, they're all dead anyway. I wonder if the hill giant can survive. Let's find out, shall we? Oh, he's missed. Oh, <laughs> they just get absolutely launched out of the map. Oh, wait, that's actually giving me another idea. What if we added like a spike wall right over here? And then that way, if that ends up happening, they end up getting either eaten or get thrown into a spike wall. It's perfect. So as you can see, they're all very carefully placed. But yeah, things might get pretty loud with this design. But let's find out. Let's see. Will it work? All right, here we go. Get ready. Oh, okay. He missed. All right, we're going to keep going until he gets slammed into the spike wall. Oh. 
Well, by that time, he just got eaten. Great. Is he dead? Of course he's dead. Maybe if I just get more of them, we have more chance of them being thrown into it. Oh! Oh! Okay, maybe not. That guy went absolutely flying. Oh! Oh! Okay, that guy got impaled a little bit there. Right, let's try this guy again. Come on. Uh, nope. Oh, there it is! Yes! Oh, that worked so well! Oh, that guy got messed up. Let's see if we can do it again. All right, here he comes. Uh, okay, no, he's been eaten again. Honestly, either way, <laughs> I like the outcome of what happens to these guys. Come on, be thrown against the spike wall, though. Yes? No. Oh, here we go. Yes, come on, come on. Oh, there it is. Nice. The worst way to go. First, you go into a Purosaurus' mouth, then thrown out into a spike wall. I wonder what happens if we do it with Goru. Wait, what? Oh, he's, he's fallen off. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, you idiot. Right, let's try that again. Here we go. Uh, oh, <laughs> he got absolutely launched out of the map. Next up, we have an elephant. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this creation so much. Oh, no, you poor elephant. But anyway, on that note, I'm going to end this one right here. There's another video on the top right, so make sure you go ahead and check that out. Also, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll hopefully see you in that video right there. Goodbye!